Blessings and welcome once again to For His Glory Couponing with a Purpose. So today I'm sharing last week's haul at Walmart. Again, I just want to remind everyone that sometimes my videos are for informational purposes when I don't have time to share my deals right away. I'll still post them because I want to give people ideas on how to bring their shopping costs down. And this is my Walgreens haul from Sunday, May 9th with quite a few Ibotta rebates. I was trying to reach um, some bonuses for the weekend and just do my haul from the weekend as well. So I'm going to do my best to go through this because what I'm going to show is that even when each shopping trip is not 100% free, it's still nice to be able to get the discounts that we're getting. So let's get started. I'm going to make every effort to get through the receipt as best as possible. My receipt did not print well at all from the store. I'll give you a quick look so you can see just what I'm talking about. Here's the receipt and as you see the left side did not print very well which is the side that details most of the products and that's probably why my receipt has been pending with Shopkicks since May 9th. The first item on my receipt is the Dunkin' Mocha Latte Cereal. That cost $3.98 and there was a 50 cent rebate on Ibotta. Next we have the Malto Meal Bag Cereals. Those were $3.98 each and they actually had $2 rebates on Ibotta as well. For me, that's the first time I had ever seen Ibotta rebates for Malta Meal, but I got $4 back, bringing those down to $3.96 for both bags. But I also am waiting back from Shopkicks because I have three items pending. Well, the two Malta Meal cereals, the bundle for that, and then the Dove products that I'll show you shortly, those are pending with Shopkicks as well. And I have 2,950 points pending, which would give me, I believe, $11.80 off of my purchase. But I have yet to hear back. And I have seen posted some people waiting quite a while for their Shopkick receipts to go through. So I'm not exactly sure how long I should wait before I question it or put in a ticket, as it's called, because I know the receipt was pretty bad. But I do believe that you can still see the numbers very well. And I believe that that's what they go by, scanning the products. So we'll get back on that. Next, I have the three-pack of Colgate Cavity Protection. Those are $3.96. I didn't have any Colgate coupons left over, so I did pay the $3.96. But Ibotta was giving $3 back, bringing that total down to $0.96. Cents, or three tubes for $0.96, cents, which is about $0.32 cents each. Then we have the Colgate Max Fresh. Those are actually... $5.96 with a $5 rebate on Ibotta, bringing the total for those three tubes of toothpaste down to $0.96 cents as well and about $0.32 cents each. Now the Burt Bees, Burt's Bees, so hard to say fast, toothpaste was $4.96. Six cents, I believe, or four ninety seven. I did have a two dollar coupon from the P and G, which I used, bringing that down to two ninety seven. And then I submitted a rebate to Ibotta as well for two dollars off, bringing that tube of toothpaste down to ninety seven cents. Not bad. Next, we have the Carefree liners. Now, I did forget that I had a coupon for the liners that I didn't have with me. They were $2.97 and I did receive a $1 rebate from Ibotta. Next we have the Dove products. So you'll see here the Dove 
men plus care oops sorry replenishing i don't know i just grabbed this one and i see it's for rough skin but oh well <laughs> good thing that it has hydration boost amen all right so that was six dollars and 97 cents and then we have the dove two-in-one shampoo and conditioner that i picked up i was kind of just looking at the ibotta app when i went to the store i went to a different walmart to meet my son and do some shopping and they actually have more products than my normal store i saw the 97 cents body wash which i had never seen at my store and figured it even even exist in this area and lo and behold couple of minutes away well more than a couple but a few minutes away and they had the swab there they have Burt's Bees and the kids Burt's Bees they even have the firefly that I was never able to take advantage of uh, for my grandson so I will be heading out to that Walmart a little more I'm waiting for my midweek bonus to see what it gives me and I'm gonna head out over there for this one but as I saw the dove I remembered that Ohio Valley couponer Nick had posted a bundle for Shopkick and that's the two other products that I said that I'm waiting for the bundle I don't remember what my scan kicks were right now maybe 15 or 20 and then an additional 400 bonus I want to say all together it's probably at least half if not a little more of the 2950 kicks that are pending right now with shop kick so um i don't know what i did with my scrap paper before i wrote everything down a little neater on my paper that i have now so i forgot the total of the um kicks per item for you then we have um oh and the two-in-one shampoo was four dollars and 48 cents but 6.97 they're going to come out just about free or pretty close to it. Then we have, after the uh, Dove products, this receipt really is horrible. So we have the Suavitel. The Suavitel was $2.97, and I had a $0.50 cent coupon and a $0.75 cent rebate on Ibotta. And also, I know it should be completely free for the Dove because I did get $2 back on the body wash from Ibotta as well. Next, we have the P.F. Chang dressing. I chose the Creamy Sesame to give it a try. That bottle of dressing is $3.28. Now, the rebate used to be $3.28, but now it was only half, $1.75, actually a little more than half, $1.75 with Ibotta. Now, I have an item on the receipt that was $2.24, and it says Core Cherry, and it was taking me a minute to remember what it was, but it was a Core Cherry Bar, which I had in the fridge, and I think my husband ate it. I didn't even know he liked it, but now I know that, well, whether he liked it or not, he still ate it. That was $2.24, but the rebate was for $1.12 half price, so not a bad deal. I know that we went over the liners already, so let's move on. Here we have the Kinder Bueno bars. And I ended up getting three because my rebate on Shopkick was a little different. I'm sorry, my rebate on Swag Bucks. I expected to get 300 but my rebate for these single bars was kind of grayed out or something. And I didn't understand why because I had never, ever submitted a rebate for this it's the first time i bought them they were 99 cents and the rebates were different based on two or three so of course i went for the max because i would get three dollars back which was three cents over the cost actually six cents because they're only 98 cents not 99 cents but i submitted that and i ended up getting the credit for the minis bag 
and I got $3.52 back on those, which ended up being a 58 cent money maker. Then we have these boxes of Snuggle. The boxes of Snuggle were just an addition. I had four, four coupons that were expiring that same day. And because those are only $1.84, at Walmart, I just went ahead and picked them up. My coupons were $4 each, so I got the 40 count sheet for 84 cents. And I really didn't think I was going anywhere else after Walmart, so I didn't, I just took advantage of that there. So that did add a little extra to my total that did not have any additional rebate for. So that added $3.36 to my final out-of-pocket balance. Then right on top of those boxes of Snuggle, we have the Cottonelle Flushable Wipes. Those are $2.43. And there was an, I bought a rebate for $0.50. Cents. I didn't have any coupons or anything. But when I submitted my receipt to Fetch, I ended up getting some surprise bonus of 500 points and then 50, um, some kind of receipt bonus of 50 points. And I got 24 points for the actual cotton now, but for some reason it only gave me 573 points for the receipt, which didn't make sense because it should have been 574. But I'll take it seeing as the 500 bonus and the receipt bonus were quite a surprise to me. Then last but least, I do have the trial size of the Sensodyne Pronamel, which also was for submitting to Shopkick. And again, I'm waiting on all those points, so there'll have to be a little memo follow-up with whatever comes through. So let me get to showing you what I have here on paper and what could end up working out. So as you see, I have my little ad there. Now, my total, including taxes, was $60.55. Before tax, it was $58.42. Now I got $30.42 back from Ibotta. I'm actually using my phone right now. And, oh, nope, I do have the total there. It was actually $21.92 from Walmart for the total of the products that you see listed there. And then I got a multi meal bonus of 50 cents for the two bags. I got my weekend warrior bonus, which was $3 off of 15 rebates. And then I got the confetti cash bonus, which was $5 off of eight rebates. That total came out to $30.42, bringing my new net down to $30.13. Right there. I deducted my order in half. Even if I had no other rebates or you know anything to count on, being able to cut your bill in half is still a good deal. But it does get better as we couponers say. I received 57 cents, I guess, in those points from Fetch bringing my to new subtotal down to $29.56. Then $11.80 is what I'm expecting, although I haven't gotten yet, which would bring my total down to $17.76. Then I'm subtracting the $3.52 that I got from Swagbucks for the Bueno Bars, which they counted as the minis, <laughs> and also an any item attached to that as well. I think it was two swag bucks. So that's where, yes, 350 and then two. Bringing my new subtotal down to $14.24. So my out of pocket for the snuggle was $3.36. So if I didn't have that, I could deduct that 
from my total, which would make it $10 and change, but I think about $10.10 actually, but overall, even $14.24 is nothing to sneeze about, and that was because some of the items that I did want to get were not available, and I improvised. I wasn't going to buy the cereal. I wasn't going to buy even the P.F. Chang's. Oh, and I'm sorry, I did leave out the mac and cheese. The mac and cheese, I believe, was $0.98. Cents. And I did get an Ibotta rebate of $0.20 cents right there. And then um, that's my bottom line. We'll see what happens with Shopkick, if I get the whole $11.80, if I don't get anything, or if, um, you know, something counts and something else doesn't count, because I believe it's 150 points for the Sensodyne there, which was from Ohio Valley Couponer, and um, there's a couple of things here. Here, um, the Suavitel, the Suavitel I got from Brie, the Coupon Queen. And I just want to see if there's anything else that I want to give someone credit for. Malta Meal, I think I said already. Ohio Valley Couponer, Nick. And then, like I said, I just was kind of going through my Ibotta app as I was in the store when I realized that this store had more stuff than the store that I normally go to, which turned out to be a little exhausting because I I had kind of like my list set and my alternate items or uh, in case I couldn't find something because I don't think I was planning on getting the cotton out either. No, I actually was because I do have on fetch a running um, total for some bonuses on the Cottonelle because I was questioning why I had bought a Cottonelle last month and I didn't get credit for it. But this was my Walmart. I bought a haul on Sunday, May 9th, and I unfortunately ended up with such a busy week that I never got around to posting the video, but here it is right in front of you. I hope that this video blesses you, that it gives you ideas, that it encourages you to use coupons, to use the rebate apps when you can't find coupons and get some money back. So everyone, I bless you all. I pray that you enjoy the rest of your day. It's still pretty nice out for this Monday at about 5.30, I think it is to make for a nice evening. Be blessed, everyone.